Hello friends welcome to class number 1 for digital smudge painting, in today's lesson first we will remove the background. Then in next step we will enhance the details. And then learn about the very important and mandatory filter, please don't skip any part of this video watch till the end otherwise you will miss important tips that I will give you, so let's start. I selected this image because, this image is full of face expressions like his teeth are showing due to a beautiful smile. I will recommend you that always use a good quality image, high resolution image is best but never use a low quality image, otherwise that will become blurry and will look cartoonic or funky. In today's class we will remove the background with the help of pen tool, and adjust the sharpness, colors, and lights. This is the pen tool I will use to make selection. First I will create a duplicate copy for backup. You can also use the shortcut key that is Ctrl or Command plus J. For digital smudge painting we don't need to make 100% perfect selection, just remain little bit inside and make a rough selection. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, I have a detailed tutorial about the pen tool, you can watch that I will also provide its link in video description, by watching that you can learn all about the pen tool. Or you can also watch by clicking on info card, just here. Now to save your time I am going to make this part fast. You can leave feather 0 but I will choose 0.5, it's up to you. Now press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a duplicate copy of your selection. Now we can remove this extra layer. And don't forget to save your work after every major changes. Now make a duplicate copy of this layer. See this is a very good quality image but still we will enhance its detail, and how to do this I show you. First go to filter, then other, and choose high pass. First of all, remember that this is not a universal number or settings, select radius amount according to your image size and resolution. Always take start with minimum amount, then increase it gradually to find a perfect number. Here we need to visible the face expressions only, don't apply too much high pass otherwise your image pixels can be damaged. You can also move the slider with the help of arrow keys. Check the both eyes and lips, if it's damaging the pixels decrease the radius. Just take your time do it very carefully, and you can also use other filters to enhance the sharpness like unsharp filter it's totally up to you, but remember the basic precautions. Ok I'm happy with this. Now change its blend mode from normal to vivid light. Now see before and after, you can see the clear difference. Let's zoom in and check again if there is any problem with the pixels. The lips are looking too sharp here, but don't worry we can still fix this problem. If you also face this issue just decrease the opacity of the high pass layer. Now examine again.
Now this is looking fine, we will combine the both layers as one layer. To combine the two or more layers as one layer, select the layers and then press the Ctrl or Command plus E from your keyboard. Then make a duplicate copy. And don't forget to save. Now in next session we will work on other adjustments. In previous session we had removed the background, now in this session we will do some more adjustments with the help of camera raw filter. This image is actually looking colorless and also needs some dimension, so let's add them. To do this first go to filter. And choose camera raw filter. You can also use the shortcut key that is, shift plus control plus A. In camera raw filter, first we'll adjust the saturation to enhance the color intensity. Increase or decrease gradually according to your image, please don't copy the same value of my image because every image has different properties. Just see and try to understand how much colors I'm selecting. Now we will adjust the vibrance, and what is the vibrance, the color intensity of midtones is called vibrance. Here I will give you a tip. For vibrance just select the half or 50% amount of your saturation amount, simple formula. For example if you selected plus 10 for saturation choose the plus 5 for vibrance, if your image saturation is already too high and you choose minus 10 for saturation then simply choose minus 5 for the vibrance, I hope you understand. Here for this image I selected plus 50 for saturation. So for vibrance I will choose plus 25 the 50% value of saturation. And for clarity we will have to choose random value, just choose a balanced value according to your image. Move the slider to increase the value gradually, and stop where you feel a good result. Nobody can tell you the exact figure just take your time and choose yourself carefully, and there is one thing more that I can suggest you, for non-destructive work you can also convert your image into a smart filter, before applying the camera raw filter. Check the eyes, and other parts of skin if it's not damaging the texture. Never change the dehas value just leave it to zero. And for black just increase or decrease the value and check, it's also totally depends upon your image. If your image is dark increase the value, if your image is bright as mine just decrease the value but, gradually. Just play with the slider and see where your image is getting the right and attractive dimension, and how will you know that, your eyes will tell you. It's looking right here, and I think this is fine. Now do the same for whites. And now let's set a value for shadows. Shadows affecting the shirt and hair only. The highlights only increase the value of highlights, like on nose, cheeks etc. Contrast is also enhance the details so choose the value of contrast carefully, the contrast is not necessary you can also leave it to zero. If you change the value of contrast just zoom in and check the details.
Approximately everything is looking fine, but one thing is looking so ugly to me in this image. This area is looking too much reddish, we need to fix this. And how to fix this case I show you, we can fix this very easily with just one slider. Just go to HSL adjustments. And simply increase the value of reds. This will remove the red color from the whole image gently, you can also do this with color selection tool but I will suggest you to use this option, and remember that, this is not a necessary part, do only in case if you face the same issue. I will add a little bit of red here to show some natural dimension. Finally this is looking fine for me. Now when you feel happy press the OK button to finish. See before the picture was colorless. And now it's looking better. Now in next class I will teach you, how to use the smudge brush on face in right direction. In our first class we learned the first step of digital smudge painting, this step is mandatory and don't do this quickly or if you are in hurry, just take your time and set the each value carefully, this is the base of your smudge painting and final result totally depends on this. I hope you will be understanding, for any query please feel free to comment below, and if you like the tutorials please press the like button, see you in next lesson.